For this video, we're going to talk about number three, athlete and defensive back, Travis Carlucci of Walter Panis High School, located right here on the screen. And this is a young man who just completed his sophomore campaign, young football player, about 5'10", 180 pounds. And I was impressed by him. And this is a multi-sport kid, versatile athlete, who shows really solid vision, and he is a very explosive. I mean, he is a guy who can hit that top speed on the field that a lot of players around him can't hit. I mean, he's another guy who can line up at multiple spots, whether it's quarterback, running back, wide receiver, safety, returner. That's why I kind of put the athlete label, especially on offense. Um, now, most reps this past season was at the quarterback spot, but I know the goal is simple, is to get this young man in open space because he is a slippery runner and he is explosive. And to me, I think he's more suited to be a running back, wide receiver type mix, something that you can move him around. He can still do the quarterback runs, but you can move him around at the running back spot, move him around at the wide receiver spot. But I like that he stepped up at the quarterback position. He's not a natural thrower, a natural quarterback, but he is a natural playmaker in my opinion. And he is one of the best return men in the section. He's arguably one of the most explosive and getting him in that open space like I talked about. Now things he can work on, to me, he's a running quarterback in this system that he's in. Um, I do think he could be more of a running back, wide receiver. I just want to see more reps. I want to see him do more um, of those different things, moving him around. Um, I also think sometimes he tries to hit the home run when some of the easy yards are there. And so just take what the defense will get you. Those big plays will come. But let's go over a couple plays I really like. And she's located right here on the screen. And, you know, they're going to be running deep patterns, deep concepts right here, trying to get the defense create some space, and the defense is going to be blitz. Now, when you blitz this young man, you have to force him to stay in the pocket and throw the football because if he gets to the outside of you, bad things happen. <laughs> That's what happens here. Right? The defender kind of leans to the inside, which allows him to get to the outside here, and they do not have a quarterback spot. And when you don't have a spy, you get him in the open field, and this is where bad things happen for a defense. Right? He's already got the first down, but he has that speed. He's a slippery guy that... He can make first downs into long touchdowns. All right, and you're going to watch it right here. Again. Look at the quick juke. Again, this is just, he just looks, he's just running faster than everybody out on the field. Right? He has that speed that people around him don't really have that I saw on tape. And this is just a simple blitz right there. Blitzing, they're getting pressure. He sees the pressure. He's going to get to the outside. And then this is just playmakers making plays. Right? He's in the open field, going to juke back across the field. Probably can keep going, but oh, okay, go all the way across the field again and then just beat everybody out to the outside, right? I mean, there's not a lot of X's and O's that go into that. Here he is again right here, the quarterback spot. I mentioned most of the reps were at the quarterback spot. It's going to be running pretty much a quarterback draw behind Big 73 right here. Again, slippery guy, design quarterback run. And I know a lot of times he likes to bounce to the outside. Sometimes he could probably get north and south a little bit more. But the defense is closing in on him. Again, I talk about it. Slippery runner. Look at the juke back inside. Look at the juke back again outside. And you got four defenders around him that have missed. And then he's going to use that speed to finish off. Get to the outside again. Right? It's not just the speed. He, he's a slippery runner. He could juke. Make people miss. And get Four guys on the ground. Four guys around. And this is a young football player. Right? A lot of room for growth. Second year on the varsity. Here he's located again. And this is what I like about him, right? Stepping in at the quarterback spot. I mentioned I don't think he's a natural thrower of the football. A good athlete, right? But he did he will go out there and try to make some plays throwing the football. And let's talk about it. Trips to the right. Backside is going to be running a post. You can see the safety cheated over towards the trip side. He had this guy kind of in the uh, the flats area. So he's not going to be able to defend the post. So this is a good job reading where he needs to go with the football, right? He looks right quickly. He goes back to the left. Safety cheated this way. So all the open space is over the middle on this hash mark. And that's where he's going to deliver the football. Yeah, look at him drive the ball. It's a good toss, good catch, right? And that's why I say he might not be a natural quarterback, but he is a natural playmaker. They're not saying he can't make these plays, right? 
Because look, he shows it right here. Drive the football, really nice throw, nice catch, making plays in the passing game. What I think he is the most deadliest, and I've mentioned it before, arguably one of the best return men in Section 1. Here he's located right here. Now he's been on the varsity two years. He has multiple returning touchdowns both years. And look at him go. Again, this is what I really look at the speed right here. He gets to the outside. You can see these defensive players, these special teams players, trying to cut him off with angles. But he has that speed that he can bust those angles up. Again, look at the speed right here. He just blows by everybody. And I love it. Right? Playing offense, defense, special teams. Young football player. Again, look at the speed. He just makes people on the field look a lot slower than he is. I mean, that's just... You can't teach that. It's just really, really strong speed. Again, a lot of room to, to work with. Real impressed by this young man. I'm excited to see what he works on this offseason.